Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. Another horn and another missing piece. Rope swing? No, I shouldn't embarrass myself again. I had caused enough distress for one afternoon. And then you chopped down the tree full of angry bees? Enough, Gwendolyn. Huh. Rope swing? No, I shouldn't embarrass myself again. <laughs> My bow is brand new, so it, uh, it still needs to be broken in. Where did he get a bow? Did I miss the part where we got bows? Seems like, seems like a waste of money.
I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. They get a tad annoying. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me. A creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I can really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Let me know how I can help. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, pocket boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Well, my mom whipped up a stack of my special chocolate chip pancakes, and she never lets me leave the house until I finished all my breakfast. Mm-hmm. 
I'll just pencil in Mummy's boy. Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants. Find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. <laughs> 